Shalom, Shalom, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. That's giving all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of great Muslim and teach real well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. So what you see right here on the screen is Esau and his sword. This man is perfecting his sword and he's going to use these um, weapons because that's what they are. Weapons. He weaponizes everything. You know, he made planes. He weaponized and put guns on them. He made cars. He put, gun he, he, he put guns on them. He made um, um, boats. <laughs> you know, he put guns on them. You know, he weaponizes. He weaponizes everything. Okay. So this, this man... He's going to weaponize these and put guns on these. And then what do you think he's going to do with them? He's going to send them through your hoods. Okay? And they show you this in all these movies and all these shows. You know, science fiction is becoming a reality, man. You will see stuff like this in these movies and these shows, and they will just be slaughtering and killing people. And this is about to become a reality, man. Okay? This is all about to become a reality. And this is just the beginning of uh, uh, Jacob's trouble. Where, you know, these devils, they plan on using this and they're going to use them against you Israelites, man. You unrepentant Israelites are going to get mutilated and torn apart by these machines. Okay, you see it's a person that's out of there controlling it. And they showed you this, you know, many times back in, you know, times past in cartoons and movies and shows. You know, so now it's coming to reality. It says... I'm going uh, I'm, 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 I'm to grab this real quick. Touching on this point, this is Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 8. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished, meaning perfected, man. You know, when you sh sharpen a sword, that means the sword is being perfected for its perfect use, which is to, to you know, um, sever or destroy. Okay, a sword is a weapon of destruction. Well, Esau is the most high sword and he's using the physical sword which was his blessing which was those weapons man those guns you know a, 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 whether they be a literal sword or you know um an automatic weapon or a, or a nuclear missile or even you know robots with missile with guns on them. ultimately this is his blessing the sword and our blessing is the spirit of yahweh bashim you know and, and and calling upon yahweh bashim yahweh that's where our power comes from but this is where esau gets his power from and he, he plans on using it it says it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. That's why you see this. This is to make a sore slaughter. This isn't just to, to uh, so lucky. This isn't just you know for for for, for some for some video on, on Instagram. This isn't just for you know for for you to see and be like okay everything's gonna be okay. This is all this is all good. This is normal. No, this is to make a sore slaughter. They're they're perfecting this these machines to run down on you, Jakes man. Okay, you unrepentant edge lights, You're going to be in very much trouble. A lot of trouble, man, when, 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 when the time comes. That's why I scripture talk about a time called Jacob's Trouble. It says, it is sharpened to make a, slow, a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? It contempteth the rod of my son as every tree. You see, so uh, shall we then make mirth? Is this a time to be playing and having a, a thinking it's a joke and thinking shit sweet? It's about to get real out here, man. Verse 11, and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give into the hand of the slayer. You see, so the sword is sharp, sharpened and then it's furbished to give into the hand of the slayer, which is Esau. He's making these weapons and these, you know, devices to ultimately destroy, you know, to, to make a sore slaughter. He wants, you know, to bring in a new world order. You have those Georgia guy stones that just fell down and those Georgia guy stones, they said they want to maintain the population under 500 million. How you going to go from 8 billion to under 500 million? You do the math, man. Okay, it says, verse 12, cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. So the Lord is telling you right here that this is going to be upon his people, all the princes of Israel. You so-called um, black, Hispanic, and, and, and native Indian men. They're making this for you. <laughs> they're making this for you. This is what they, this is what they have in store for you, man. You know, th th this is why they're making this for you, to destroy you, you know? These people hate you. You got to understand you have enemies, man. We, we was at camp last night and I, I asked majority, m multiple people, Jake's, you know, what's the, uh, do, you, do you know what the Georgia Guy Stones are? Do you know what the Georgia Guy Stones are? None of them knew what the Georgia Guy Stones was. But I bet you they knew who Jesus was. 
You see, showing all people have been completely deceived, completely lost. I would ask people who took the uh, yab. Who, they, they took the yab. I asked me, hey, do, do you know do you know what the Georgia Guidestones is? No idea. No clue. Okay. So it says, cry in the house, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be, up, uh, be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon the thigh. You people going to realize, man. Okay. Um. You people gonna realize that you know the thing that the prophet the prophet's been telling you out there on them streets was is the truth, man. It's all gonna make sense very soon. Trust me and believe. If it don't feel if it don't make sense now, it's about to make sense very soon. And how, how it's gonna make sense when they kicking your fucking door? Okay, you are gonna find out who the devil is the hard way, man. The, the Lord said the prophet's out there to warn you of who who of uh, uh, who uh, who the you know who who who, who the devil was, but you forsook it. You 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 know you 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 had your own mind made up, and now you are gonna find out the hard way, man. Psalms chapter 17, verse 12, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places, arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So this man, he has plans, man. Okay, they, they got plans. And, you know, we, we praying that the Lord disappoint him when it comes to, to the elect, when it comes to, 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 to the true servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those of us that's doing his work. We pray that when he comes for us, the Lord's going to disappoint him. He's not going to be able to get us the way he want to get us, man. The Lord deliver us and make a way out for us. You know, final, you know, man, make, make a way out of no way, man. It says, um, arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked which is Esau is the wicked. <gasps> okay, um, Malachi chapter 4 and 1 says that he is the border of wickedness, man. It says, The wicked which is thy sword from men which are, are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world, men of this world, man, that, 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 and they are the hand of the Most High. They are the Most High's left hand, okay, have, which have their portion in this life and whose bellies is thou fills with thy hid treasure they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes as for me i will behold my, thy face in righteousness i shall be satisfied when i awake with thy likeness yeah he said i should be satisfied when i awake with thy likeness which is we're ultimately going into a hey, the israelites gonna get spiritual power man we gonna have we gonna, we gonna need spiritual power to 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 to, to, to you know, to, to, you know, fend ourselves against these damn devils, man. That's the only way we're going to be able to, you know, have some type of have a fighting chance. The Lord's going to have to bestow power upon his, his elect. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse four. And those, and these are the words that like Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. Okay. Israel is, is, is referring to you so-called Hispanics and Native Indians. Okay. The, um, Northern, um, kingdom. And then the southern kingdom, you so-called Negroes, Haitians, and Jamaicans, and West Indies. That's what the Lord's talking about. He's, 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 he's speaking concerning you, not the whole world, Israel, and concerning Judah. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. They're not, they're, not, they're not coming down with no peace. They have no intentions of bringing peace to the Middle East. They want to bring war. Okay, they want to bring war all over the world. This man is a, a, a weapon of destruction. It says... Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into panels. You're going to hear grown ass men screaming and wailing and crying like, like, like babies, man, like babies. How much more the women and the children It's going to get that bad out here, man. Alas, for the day is great for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, man. So he, you know, the, the, the true servants of the Lord, the ones who truly believe in the Lord, they're going to be saved out of it. But the rest of these people, they're going to be taken by it, man. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, it says, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Okay, so when, they, when the enemy come in like a flood, how do you think they coming in? They coming in like, like this right here, man. Okay, they coming in like this right here. Scripture says it should be like madman sparing none. Let me grab that. Just to show, okay. How they coming. When they when they come in with this flood, this is how, how they coming, man. 
They ain't coming with, you know, peaches and cream and, you know, Christianity and love and hugs and kisses. Nah, man. <laughs> Whatever you people got, got got in your mind and you think these people coming with, love and hugs and kisses, you go, you got another thing coming, man. Okay, you got another thing coming. This is, uh, um, this is, hmm. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse, I'm sorry, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. All these nations are getting ready to run down on Jake, man. They're getting ready to run down on you. They're getting trying to, and, and Jake has been scattered all over the earth. So in all, and all over the earth, you got cities and or countries with ghettos, cities with ghettos. And in ghettos, you got Jake's in there, man. Whether they be um, Israelite foreigners. You know, they, they made a man they look like Jake, but their spirit is Jake. And, and, and the people in that land, they know the difference, man. It says, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. They're going to lock you up, you know, try to put you in a camp and, and, and ultimately try to get you to take that, 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 that karagma. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So those of you that just give in and comply, you're going to be in the worst case. It says, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They're going to come for the men of the Lord, man. It says, and they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay. Those of us that truly believe and fear Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai, they're going to be like madmen, sparing none, trying to destroy us, man. But the Lord said he going he, 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 the enemy and the enemy shall come like a flood. The spirit shall lift up a standard against him, which means that's the word standard means a way to escape. It goes into disappearing, you know, flying off, taking flight. You know, the Lord gonna give us a way out of this, man. Give us a or or to yeah, like I said, to disappear. Okay, so the Lord gonna give us a way out of this, you know, no matter how this how they come, the Lord gonna make a way out for us, man. For the ones that truly believe in him, that's truly been serving him, that truly know his name and uh has been doing his work. He said he say he'll make a way out for us, for the rest of you people, not so much. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. All you people that, 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 that took pride in your house and your, you know, your, your three-story house and your nice cars and your, you know, your job and your, you know, all your goods you got, you know, whatever, you know, drape me flossing and showing off all these jewelry and all that bullshit. They're going to cast you out of your house and take away all your goods, man, all your food, all your water. Okay. All, all everything you got, man. Probably even your women, you know, your children. Okay, it says, and cast them out of their houses. You're going to lose your house, man. There ain't going to be no more houses for you. You're going to be in a FEMA camp somewhere, if not mutilated in the streets. It says, then shall they be known who are my children. They shall be tried as gold in the fire. Then you're going to know who the, who, who the Lord really dealing with, man. Who the Lord is really dealing with. Why? Hear, O my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall be your, it, it looks like it is your guide. So the Lord's going to guide us in this time, man. He's going to make sure our foot don't slip. He's going to he gonna watch every step. So so we, are, we, we should not be taken by these devils, man. This is um Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, uh, I believe it's Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, 3, chapter 7. And in the song, it just says Wisdom. This is from the brother Tazapanya. Um, it's paid as private. So I had to do, do the videos like, like, like this. But it says, uh, Wisdom... Wisdom 3 verse 7 And in the time of their visitation They shall shine And run to and fro Like sparks among the stubble So The Lord's gonna give us that power man You know The Lord's gonna give us that power And uh That's why um That's why You know These devils They're, they're, they're coming with This type of technology man See they, they're not worried About you niggas That's clutching on guns man They can care less About you niggas That's You know Taking to their blessing With the gun They, 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 they know how to deal with that What they don't know how to deal with Is um you know, men get getting spiritual power. Okay, men, men getting spiritual power. Men getting changed, and you know, becoming impervious to bullets. That's what they don't know how to deal with. So they're trying to make different shit to deal with that. You rest, you rest niggas with your guns. They can, they, they can use a heat wave on your ass. You know, a, a heat wave gun on your ass and melt you, melt the gun in your damn hand. So they're not worried about that. Second Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. I shall, we shall not all sleep, which means die, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, where the trumpet shall sound, 
and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality and you can't do that with a fucking gun, you idiot. It's lucky, but you know, you got you, you, you Jake's is lost, man. For you to think that you can put on immortality with a gun, you're out of your fucking mind. It says, and, 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 and if anything, you are putting on more, um, you know, more mortal. You know, you're making yourself more mortal because with them guns, you know, the Lord told told you if you pit who they, they, they who live by the sword shall die by the sword. OK, it says, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. OK, death is swallowed up in victory. We're not, we're not going down no more. Man. We're going to be changed. The Lord going to. Um, you know, give, 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 give us power beyond this, you know, world. Let me grab this real quick. I'm going to close out and get to the next one. There's a couple things, a couple of videos I want to go into today. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, knock these out. Do this pretty hard by some y'all shy. It says, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse, thir thir verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them. He is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. The Lord said that we're going to become his battle axes, man. He's going to make his men his battle axes. And he said, with thee will I break in pieces nations. How you break in peace a nation, you know, you're going to have these men with power. You're going to give his men power. And, we're going to be, and, and, and these little robots right here ain't going to be shit compared to an Israelite man with power. Imagine, you know, you run up underneath his ass and just, you know, knock the feet from underneath it, you know, tear his legs off. You know, in the, in the mighty name of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and people are gonna see that, man. This shit don't, this shit don't, this shit don't scare us, man. This shit don't scare you. We have no fear compared to you, damn. When it comes to you, damn devils, what you come with, man. We trust the Lord is gonna, gonna give us something greater, okay? We trust the Lord gonna, gonna, gonna give us something greater. Like you, you, the Lord can give you telekinesis. You can have the power to crush this motherfucker into a, you know, a paper ball. Can <laughs> you crush a paper ball? You have, you can have the power to crush this damn machine with the person inside of it. You know, like, you know, with, with your mind, <laughs> with your mind. OK, so, we, so we're not worried about whatever Esau coming with. But you, you are repentant Israelites. You should be worried. You should be afraid. Thou art my battle, battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And this is like into a horse on his rider. You know, like, 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 uh, like how you did come with them tanks and shit. You come in with a tank or, 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 or one of these motherfuckers, you're going to be broken to pieces, you and the fucking machine. You, while you're in a machine, you're going to be breaking to pieces, man. You're going to be destroyed. Okay? And then you're going to know who the true man of the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai was, man. You're going to know. So we don't fear this, man. But you other Israelite jakes that have not sought Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you should be terror. You, 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 you should be petrified, man. Because what are you going to do? All right. So that being said, I'm gonna say shalom, call halal, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kapudash. I pray that was edifying and hopeful elect. I want to the next one. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> be be beware of this coming. You know, ro ro rolling through your hood soon. All right. Kwame Sharala, a Bible ball. Shalom.